Rachel and I'm from Funny and Thread and today I'm at Sew Machines UK in Gillingham and we're going to be looking at the Janome HD9 Heavy Duty Professional Machine. Uh, so I'll do a quick uh, unboxing video first and then we'll go into the detail and taste some of the features of the machine. winding a new bobbin uh, so nice metal bobbins as well actually so that just pops onto there you've got two spool holders um, so the two you kind of have two threads independent from each other um, so the bobbin thread doesn't interfere with the needle thread you can have that continuously threaded up and then just do a new bobbin also your bobbin winder is um, automatic it's um, independent from the main motor so you can have a bobbin going while you're sewing as well which is really good. So I'll just pop that through and then a little hole there. Okay and I'll just pull that across and you've just got a little button here to start your bobbin winding and if I stop that I'll just trim that bit of thread off and it's super super quiet as well so that's winding on there um, so I can carry on you get loads of thread on that bobbin which is really nice there we go it stops automatically really really nice and quiet i do like that uh, i'm just trimming that off there okay so we can leave that thread in there because this thread is going to come straight to here so it's not interfering with each other at all so I'll just thread up the bobbin. So the bobbin uh, case is inside here. So we just need to lift this cover up and then this door at the side opens. So if you're more familiar with domestic machines that go in the front or at the top, um, it's slightly different. It goes in at the side. Um, so very similar to your front loading bobbins on your domestic machines in the way that you've got that separate bobbin case. So that comes out like this your bobbin goes in with thread going around clockwise drop it into there take the thread through the little gauge there and into there so all the way around like that and just make sure that your thread is, your bobbin is going around in a clockwise direction when you pull it just want a little bit of thread um hanging out ready for sewing with and then we'll just pop that back in make sure it's all in place nicely like that and we can close all that back up okay so next job we'll thread up the needle okay so we'll take the thread from the thread guide again you've got these instructions on the top here to give you a little reminder of how to do the bobbin threading and then the solid line here takes you down to the instructions for threading the needle and um, there's lots of extra options on here compared to a domestic machine so depending on the kind of fabric you're going to be stitching with um, if it's thicker fabric for example you can use all of these three holes here so take your thread through all of them or just the two or just the one as we're doing here so we're only going to be using uh, like a calico today and then we'll take the thread into the pre-tension here again you can adjust this so you've got an extra bit of um, tension adjustment there and then we go straight underneath 
the main tension to dial here and just use both hands just to make sure the thread is right into that tension and then we take it around the, the wire guide here around here underneath this guide and then we're going to go straight up at the moment but you, again you've got another option of taking it from here through here and again adjusting what tension you have in this area here as well uh, so you've got the real flexibility um, depending on what you're going to be stitching out and adjusting from thicker fabrics to thinner fabrics uh, so you've got a lot of flexibility on that side of things so through the take up lever into the guide again and then we'll go straight down into here see your thread guide there I'm just going to pop that around the side Oops. Jesus. there we go and then we want to take the thread over to the left hand side because because it's very similar to an industrial machine the needle is in um, sideways basically so rather than the flat being flat back being at the back you've got the flat bit at the side so we thread from left to right um, and we have a needle threader so I'm just going to pop that all the way down catch the thread on the way down and then take that all the way through so there's a little tiny hook that's gone through the eye of the needle and then we can just catch that thread and al allow it to go through the eye there so we've got a little loop we can pull through and there we go, and then just pop that under the foot and we're ready to go. Right, so I'll do a little stitch out, just on some calico. Um, I've got a needle down button so I can, if you prefer, you can start with your needle in the fabric. Um, so it's nice and quiet. Again, it's keeping the needle down so I can pivot. Actually, I'm only on the lowest speed here, so let me speed it up a little bit. There we go. And I've also got my backwards needle here as well. And then we also have the thread cutter button. So that's trimming the threads underneath to a nice and neat finish. Fun. So some of the uh, main features and benefits of the machine, just a quick overview. So obviously it's a very solid machine. It's a full metal base machine. Um, so it's the closest you're gonna get to a, an industrial. Um, it's a professional machine. So it only does a straight stitch, but it does it very, very well. Um, it's strong, it's capable with lots of different thicknesses of fabrics, so your thinner fabrics as well as your thicker fabrics. You've got adjustments, more adjustments than you'd normally have with a domestic machine with your tension, um, foot pressure adjustment at the top here and a, a clear indicator for your foot pressure here as well. So you adjust it at the top, but your indicator's down here. Um, needle thread is always a win um, as well. You've got your oiling points, which are really easy to access. You've got two at the top here, and then you've also got two in the bobbin area down below as well. Um, your stitch length on the side, really easy to adjust. It goes up to a maximum of six. Um, here and then obviously the lowest down there to zero. Um, thread cutters which are fab. Your speed control, even though you have to use your foot pedal, it's still really useful to have a speed control because this goes super super fast. You can reduce 
you know, you're limiting the speed that the foot pedal can do. So if you just want to do some really fine um, stitching, um, some really accurate stitching and you don't want to go too fast, um, you can set it to that slowest speed. Independent bobbin winder is great as well. And the fact that you can have your bobbin thread um, on your separate spool there, so you can have one going while you're sewing, it's fab as well. Needle up and down positioning is always good too. And also your needle thread, uh, sorry, your uh, knee lift as well. So you do get a knee lift with the machine which goes into here. And a couple of extra feet as well. Um, so you've got your cloth guide. You've got, you do get a bit of oil with the machine too, spare bobbins. I do love how the bobbins are so big as well. So you get a lot of thread on those bobbins. Your cloth guide here. So if you want to do accurate sewing, you can attach that to your machine and you've also got a uh, rolled hem foot there too so you attach that on so they're not snap on feet like your domestic machine feet they go straight onto the machine shank there as well so you've got a couple of extra bits and bobs with it too okay so that was a quick overview of the Janome HD9 heavy duty machine which is a real heavy duty machine um fabulous full metal body so it's really really strong and heavy machine as well so great for anyone that's wanting to do heavy duty work um, lots of leather work denim that kind of thing for bag making or, or any kind of sewing really because it can do your lower your um, lighter weight fabrics as well so a good all-rounder machine if you just want a straight stitch uh, but a great state straight stitch it is um, so that's the Janome HD9 and Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Make sure you take a look at the machine on www.sewmachinesuk.co.uk and see you soon.